Hi, uh, let me do a quick demonstration on how to use the app. If you launch the app for the first time, it will ask users permission to use location service in order to load the most accurate image classification model to improve accuracy. For example, if I know the user is in Melbourne and I know that there are 50 species um, in Melbourne, there's no point to use an Australian-wide bird classification model of 100 species. So just click Love. The app has two tabs, Home tab and Birds tab. In the Home tab, um, user can perform different kind of uh, recognition activities. I implemented offline image recognition and live recognition. So Chow and Ran will do uh, sound recognition and online image recognition in the coming semester. The birds tab displays a list of 30 most common urban birds in Australia. So a user can tap any of the birds to see more information about a particular species. This tab bar design allows the user to check birds metadata and perform different kinds of uh, recognition activities in parallel. Now let me demonstrate how to use the offline image recognition function. So a user can tap the camera icon. They can select the camera option to take a new photo or select an existing one from the photo library. So let me try the camera first. Just um, take a photo of a bird. Uh, select use photo. As we can see here, this image is a noisy miner with confidence of 99.9%. .9%. User can then tap the noisy miner button to see more information about the species. Apart from taking a new photo, user can also select an existing image from the photo library. As we can see here, this image is a silver eye with confidence of 84.6%. Sometimes the image classification model may make a wrong prediction. So a user can tap the percentage button to see the top three confident results. As we can see here, the app thinks the image is a silver eye with confidence of 84.6%. It might be an eastern yellow ruby with confidence of 7.6%, or it might be a super fairy ring with confidence of 4.2%. So as before, user can tap on the name of species to see more information. Now let me demonstrate how to use live recognition function. The app is now doing inference every time the camera captures a new frame. It will stop once the confidence go over 85% and it will show thinking if the confidence is below 50%. But of course, these threshold values can be changed. Then user can go to the birds tab to select the corresponding species to see more information. Well, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.